three minute round. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Introducing in the left corner, the arrogant, unpredictable, Bobby Barnes. His opponent in the blue corner, that likeable Robin Carter, Kip Winslow. So there he is, Gary Cooper, Cat Weasel, his ring name, and he's such his usual tricks which always get me laughing and makes the crowd here too. And this is Toad, his mask up, going in the corner post, behind him, and the sack, down, holding it up, and now he's raising it around. His opponent, Bobby Barnes, very neatly folding and taking great care of his Louis XIV dressing gown. Looking very flash, not to mention the hair colour, but with all their gimmicks for entering the ring and trying to catch the eye, these two men have great ring ability, there's no doubt about that. Six three minute rounds, two falls to the side, Emil Poil, the referee. Uh, one. Round one, three minutes each, six of them, two falls to the side. Tickle his way out of trouble there. <laughs> well, I'd be very surprised if Cat Weasel can make his opponent smile in this part. Never smile, or very, very seldom. sorts of asides coming from Cat Weasel. <laughs> Arms reaching high up to get that Paul Nelson. He's giving you almost over a stone here, stone and a quarter, Barnes. Mostly in height, of course. First round. This one like. <laughs> so the side headlock not coming to anything in this round. Great the whole boy. Great. Bobby Barnes, who is now more or less a full-time wrestler, checking out the hairs in place and step up really it. Under the arms go the Redwood, uh, the kind thought for his opponent. 
Round two, five to go. No score. Cat Weasel from Doncaster. The hex thought was outside Doncaster. 14 and a quarter star. Barnes at 13 star. <laughs> And there is the double wrist lock by Barnes. If he starts using his uh, skill that we know he has, but I think he's starting to do now, he won't worry about his coiffure too much. And his opponent won't have time for the comedy. This is a very strong, experienced man, this guy. Now, a folding press won't work with the arms up there. Folding press can't be touching. Spinning in, but he was decided against him. <laughs> yeah, give him a head by A little too deliberate about that. Good cat. <laughs> oh, no, no time to get some applause uh, for that. is wanting, of course, to ask for applause when he gets up quickly from the throw, but he hadn't got time to get it that time. He's got about 40 seconds, Barnes, now to make this count, if he's going to get a score in this round. This man who uh, we first saw on television way back in 71, one year amateur experience, who turned pro in 1970 actually. I'll be visiting and entertaining the kids in orphanages, and this he does an awful lot of. It's really great for the uh, charity. And he gets invited to appear a lot at uh, various charity shows and fates, and he very seldom says no. Four rounds to go, no score. Barnes on the attack. No, no, no. No, no. Ah, no. No, 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 Still the forearm that landed despite his uh, threatening the punch. Oh, you don't like that one. to look immaculate right through the bouts and that's uh, gives the impression to people his fans especially that he hasn't really been ruffled and it was quite easy for him and I think it's the idea 
And the back hammer is on, held by the bar's left leg and the right arm in the lead. And the submission possibility here for Barnes. And back. Yes, he has. Submission in just under two minutes of the third round. submission hold, a tough submission hold, he never jerked that arm at all, which of course he's definitely not allowed to do, and he just slowly and deliberately got him in it's a heck of a mess with the arm lever on one side and the back hammer on the other. Three to go, and he's, he's got to go with the wrong four, and Barnes going for the left arm some more. Three, four, five. No time for comedy anymore from Cat Weasel. He's really in trouble now. He's going to get an equalizer pretty soon. Same move, the throw in the backhand position, landing on that left arm in the backhand. Again, the same move, the backhammer held, held by the left foot, the opposite arm lever. Now, if he gets his leg in between there and leans back, this is what got the submission last time, but Cat Weasel's got through the ropes. Fortunately for Cat, he's got through the ropes there and gets the break. Oh, that left arm is really taking a battering now. But legitimately, by Bobby Barnes, unlike some of Jim Briggs' moves. Yes, the referee, highly suspicious of that. Held under the top, top rope. Cat Weasel with one good arm now. Can he come back into this? Well, we can use some of his weight advantage now. He's got the left arm caught again. As long as Bobby Barnes, a half minute to go. Look, Bobby Barnes can continue that uh, left arm treatment. Cat Weasel's little chance here. Here comes the same submission hold attempt. He's got 20 seconds to make it pay. He doesn't know that, of course. 10 seconds, and again Cat Weasel trying to get to the ropes. Six, five, four, and oh yes, he's got him. He's put him off balance anyway. So the bell was there, but he didn't need the bell, Cat, because he got out of trouble by himself there. Forced his man off balance into the ropes while he was trying to crawl to the ropes. Now, how much damage has that caused, all that treatment to the left arm? That's the question. Everybody here would love to see him come back. Away, Ready or not, he's got to go now for the last two rounds, trailing by one submission fall to Barnes. Right over the shoulder, against the joint, and 
full distance downwards. Yes, that makes Bobby Barnes leave go quicker than anything. Oh, yes, um, yes, he tripped him nicely over the top and he pulled out a folding press. Really by Pat. Nice work. He's back. He's back. The equalizing call in just 46 seconds of round five. In the fifth round, the equalizing call of the contest goes to the blue corner and Pat Weasel. Barnes complaining in the other corner, but. Uh, to the MC and the referee, anybody will listen, but this man is back for the equaliser and we never thought he could with that left arm in such trouble. So worrying him, obviously. One round to go. Seconds away for the six and final round. And still Barnes complaining about the hair. I don't know really why. It wasn't pulled, just ruffled. That's what he doesn't like. Beautiful Bobby Barnes wants to remember to remain beautiful for the whole of the box. Nice of the spine knee drop nicely and the worst of them. Now Barnes easily out of that. And he was okay with the forearm. Paul Nelson, he's got to reach for it, look how high he's got to get those hands up. Nice butt. Barnes held his ground then, a little bit of forearm as he came out. Trying to do the same again. <laughs> he turned with the ref on the cap over the top, holding press. Very nearly caught him. <laughs> Very nearly caught him. He turned away, beefing to the ref, and nearly got the winning fall scored against him. of course of the ropes. Continuing the action in the corner, not a lot. Grabbed the leg almost before he was up. And he's really turning that foot around now. Yes, throw nicely. But again, Bobby Barnes comes back to that same toe and ankle hold. Just a minute left. One minute. One minute left in this final round. <laughs> he's still worried about his hair. But he's still got that... Uh, both hands are working on the toe and ankle. Now he's got both feet there. Unorthodox, but it's working. There's the orthodox hole that he was aiming for. Figure four, he's getting the bar through. The figure four leg lock. And this could get the second submission for Barnes and the winner. If the cat now submits. And he must be awfully near to doing so. 12 seconds. 10. 7. 5 seconds. 4. Three, two, he's too late. It's a draw. So he came back, Kay Weasel, at least, and made a draw out of it. One fall each. After six rounds of wrestling, each wrestler scoring one fall apiece, the referee's decision, it's a draw. Bobby Bond and Kay Weasel. Thank you, John Curry, our master of ceremonies this afternoon. Uh, Barnes' submission fall in round three, equalized by the round five fall by Kettles. And with that, we hope you've enjoyed it. We say goodbye from all of us here at Hatfield. Have a good week. Till next week. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's a draw. Bobby Barnes and Cat Weasel.
congratulate the ring, Bobby Bonds.